There was sporadic sniping from both sides through the early evening, but the main ceasefire was holding. Police said the most recent battle for control of the refugee camps has claimed at least 180 lives in the past three weeks and left more than a thousand others wounded. It took Syrian officials several meetings with the rival groups before the ceasefire could be arranged and brought into force. The agreement calls for the creation of a joint Amal Palestinian operation room to supervise the ceasefire. There are also plans for the creation of a disengagement force from the Lebanese army's mainly Muslim 6th Brigade. Syria mediated a similar halt in hostilities between these two rival groups last June. The authorities hope this ceasefire will prove more lasting. A Lebanese military helicopter flew Cardinal O'Connor into Christian East Beirut from nearby Cyprus. The airport in Muslim West Beirut is not a safe place for Westerners arriving in Lebanon. The Cardinal was met by Patriarch Masrallah Safiya, the spiritual head of the Christian Maronite community. More meetings with religious and secular leaders are planned during the three-day visit, which has fueled speculation that the Cardinal may try to help free the five American hostages. Cardinal O'Connor has stressed that his visit is not political. When asked about the hostages, though, the chance that he might intervene was not ruled out. Of course, we would, we would love to have them returned in good health. And uh, naturally, I would personally do whatever I could to assist if anyone, uh, if anyone could uh, help me to help the hostages. I would be very happy to... Uh, do so if it were possible for the hostages to hear me or to see me now. I would want them to know how much their families uh, love them and support them. And this is true of all Americans. The Cardinal's message of support to the hostages came hours after President Reagan admitted that recent efforts to release them had suffered what he called a great disappointment. Thank you. 